Throughout history, there have been many colonial empires that try to conquer and colonize different places on the surface of the planet. And those empires use different methods to subjugate the native people of their colonies. One of those methods was assimilation, which basically means that those colonial empires would force their own culture onto the natives. This explains why some countries from different continents have several resemblance in their cultures. One of those examples is the connection between Algeria and Vietnam, because both of these countries were former French colonies. Sure, the similarities between these two nations are not that much, but considering that they are 9,000 kilometers away from each other, those similarities are quite fascinating, aren't they? That's why in this video, I'm going to compare and contrast the cultures of Algeria and Vietnam, which is also my own country. First, we should discuss the history of these two countries because I do believe that history is a part of a nation's culture and also we can learn a bit about why France influenced Algeria and Vietnam. Let's start with Algeria first. I need to drink some more. For most of history, the land we now call Algeria was under the control of the various Mediterranean empires that existed back then, from the Phoenicians to Rome to the Spanish and finally the Ottoman Empire. But then, during the 19th century, the Ottomans started to weaken, which led to France gradually annexing parts of Algeria. The process of conquering this land began in 1830 and just like any other European powers in Africa, the French were brutal. They used chemical weapons on civilians, committed numerous massacres, and they implemented an economic system that would ruin Algeria. At the same time, the French also tried to assimilate the people of Algeria by forcing them to use the French language, destroy Algerian palaces, and many more. This resulted in the rise of Algerian nationalism and eventually the Algerian revolution flared up in 1954. The war itself was a vicious and brutal conflict involving massacres, tortures, and other war crimes. Fortunately, the Algerians finally gained their independence in 1962. Later on, they still have to deal with internal and regional conflicts that are part of the Cold War. Nowadays, Algeria is not really a wealthy country, but at least it's relatively stable compared to the rest of Africa. And then there's Vietnam. For the majority of its history, Vietnam was a feudalistic society under various dynasties. It spent most of the time fighting against China, Thailand, Cambodia, or against itself when China began to lose its influence over Asia after the Opium Wars. The French invaded Vietnam in 1858. The French slowly conquered Vietnam territories and eventually in 1884, the entirety of Vietnam was integrated into the French Empire. During the colonial era, the French started an economic policy that would ruin the lives of the peasants and the workers, but compared to what happened in Algeria, it was much better. During World War II, France was occupied by Germany, which led to Vietnam falling into the hands of the Japanese. The Japanese was dozens of times more savage than France. They began collecting rice from the farmers of northern Vietnam, which resulted in the famine of 1945. The oppression from both the French and the Japanese led to the rise of the Viet Minh, a revolutionary socialist group that wanted to have an independent Vietnam. After World War II, Vietnam fell into a period of internal conflict between different parties that lasted for about a year. And then in 1946, the First Indochina War began. It was between the French colonial government and the Viet Minh. Eventually, the Viet Minh won the war and Vietnam gained its independence. Well, I mean, there are two Vietnams and a few more decades of brutal conflicts, but we, we don't talk about that here. In the last few years, Vietnam is rapidly developing while maintaining a politically stable society. As you can see, there are actually a lot of similarities between the history of these two nations, which is quite surprising, to be honest. 
regarding religions, there isn't really anything similar between Algeria and Vietnam. Algeria is an Islamic society where 99% of the population are Muslims, while Vietnam is a more secular country where 74% of the people are either atheists or believers of folk religions. But the country is heavily influenced by Buddhism because for most of history, it's the main religion. Interestingly, there's also a sizable Christian minority in Vietnam, which makes sense because during the late 19th century, the French imported Catholicism into Vietnam. So we can safely say that there are no religious similarity between the two countries. cuisine of both Algeria and Vietnam are heavily shaped by the French. Algeria, for example, has a dish called Fritz omelette, which is essentially French fries with an omelette. And because both of these foods came from France, or well, I mean technically French fries came from Belgium, but it's also quite popular in France. We can clearly see that this cuisine is inspired by French culture. Additionally, Algerians are also quite keen on bread, especially French baguettes, so yeah, there's also that. Meanwhile, in Vietnam, one of the most famous dishes in Vietnamese cuisine is pho, which a lot of people suggested that it might be a Vietnamese attempt to recreate the version of pot of pho, a traditional French beef stew. But there are also other foods that are inspired by the French, like bánh mì kẹp, a kind of sandwich-like baguette that contains lots of tasty stuff in it, café, which is a kind of drip coffee with a Vietnamese pronunciation, and bò lúc lắc, known in the US as chicken beef, and it's also inspired by the French. Additionally, we also eat frog leg. It doesn't came from France or anything, but if you know a bit of French stereotypes, you will find that quite funny. During the French colonization of both of these countries, France built many architectures in their colonies. This would influence how Algerians and Vietnamese put up buildings nowadays. When the French began to colonize Algeria, they started to destroy Islamic and Arabic buildings and replace them with French architecture. Some of the first French buildings were based on various European styles, such as the Baroque Revival or the Byzantine Revival. Some of those buildings are the Algerian National Theatres in Algiers or the Notre Dame de Frique. The same things happened in Vietnam during the colonial era when the French built different structures throughout the countries, especially in Hanoi and Saigon. Some of the prime examples are the St. Joseph's Cathedral of Hanoi, the Independence Palace, the Lombian Bridge, and the Hanoi Opera House. Obviously, these buildings are based on European styles of architectures, just like in Algeria. But unlike in Algeria, the French structures in Vietnam are mostly neo-Gothic and neo-classical. This is quite obvious, but Algeria and Vietnam don't really have any similarities in languages because most Algerians speak Arabic while Vietnamese speak Vietnamese, a language that is part of the Austroasiatic language family and it is heavily influenced by Chinese. But interestingly, there are some similarities between the languages of the two that you might not notice. Firstly, there are a lot of French loan words or at least words that came from France in both of these countries' languages. Which, I mean, it makes perfect sense. When the French colonized these lands, they introduced many new technologies, architectures, and ideas that cannot be described by the native language. Some examples are the Algerian words for cards, cars, or currents. The same things happens in Vietnam, where the French introduce lots of new concepts that can't be translated to Vietnamese. Such examples are the Vietnamese words for concrete, coffee, or Cambodia.
There are lots of other cultural aspects that I didn't even mention in this video, such as literature, art, clothes, or music. But these are the ones that I believe are the most important to any country's culture. After comparing the cultures of Algeria and Vietnam, even though there are only some similarities, but it's still very fascinating that these seemingly unrelated countries that are thousands of kilometers away from each other are that alike. So yeah, that's my video. Hope you enjoy that. If you can, subscribe to my channel. Also, this is actually for one of my school projects. Usually, I don't often put this much effort into making school projects, but because this is a topic that I am genuinely interested in, so I made a 10 minute long video on this. Yeah.